it healed instantly. There is a woman who called looking for prayer. She had been suffering from a headache and dizziness. The man of God prayed for her over the phone and the healing power of Jesus Christ instantly touched her. She confirmed that the headache left instantly after receiving prayer. She is free and delivered. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our announcements are as follows. Every morning at 6 a.m. from Monday to Friday, we have our morning prayer which is at 7 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. Our midday service starts at 5 to 12, and then we have our evening service, which starts at half past six every night. Our midnight prayer starts at 5 to 12, and then we have our, even, our, our weekly prayer and fasting, which is on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. The details of the fasting are shared on our different WhatsApp groups. Amen. Amen. And for those who want to partake in the blessings of the Lord through tithe and offerings, the banking details are shared on our different WhatsApp groups, on our messenger groups, as well as on our different Facebook platforms. Amen. Amen. Tonight we will Amen. get the word of God from the book of John chapter 1 from verse 9 NIV. It reads as follows. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testified concerning Him. He cried out, saying, this is the one I spoke about when I said, He who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Also tonight, we will have a privilege. A privilege to go through the word of God together. Believing the word of God to be taught with power. Power of the Holy Spirit. Power to heal. Power to bless. Power to protect in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We're going to get the word of God Amen. from the book of John chapter 1 verse number 9. The Bible says that. The true light that gives light to everyone coming into the world. For us to understand what the word of God is talking about. The Bible says in verse number 7. He came and the witness, as a witness to testify concerning the light. So that through him all might believe he himself was not the light he came only to witness to the light okay when the bible say that uh, verse number uh, okay let's read verse number six so that we can get what he's talking about there was a man sent from god whose name was john the bible said that the bible is talking about john that John was a witness, a witness to testify concerning light, so that through him all might believe. And the Bible said that John was not the light. He was not the light, but he came to witness to the light. 
We all know what the Bible is talking about. It's talking about John, John the Baptist. To say that John the Baptist, he was having a task, a task which was to introduce Jesus. Before he introduced Jesus, he came to preach to Jesus because he taught Jesus. You know, like, we don't hear about the revelation of Jesus before John revealed who Jesus Christ is. And the Bible talks about even one day when John was going to, to Jordan, when John was baptizing in Jordan, and the Bible talks about Jesus Christ going to Jordan. And the Bible said that John, as he was baptizing, he talks about the one who was coming after him, whose sandals Amen. is not worthy to untie. As he saw Jesus Christ coming towards the water, the Bible says, John says that no, if there is anyone who needs to be baptized, it is you, Jesus, you are the one who is supposed to baptize me. You are the one who, he said that Jesus is the one who needs to baptize him. And Jesus said that, no, this must happen so that um, all the requirements of righteousness may be fulfilled. Then, Amen. because Amen. only thing that John was doing, he was only making a way for the Lord. He was only introducing Jesus. John Amen. was not Jesus. John was not Jesus. John was not the Messiah, but he was the one who came to introduce the Messiah. He was the one who came Amen. to lead the way for the Messiah. That's why the Bible says that he himself was not the light. He came only to witness to the light. He came Amen. only to witness to Jesus. Amen. And Amen. to witness to Jesus also to introduce Jesus. But Jesus was not, Jesus Amen. was the light, but John was not the light. John! Amen was only coming to preach to Jesus, to introduce Jesus. And the Bible said that in verse number 9, the light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. That means the Bible talks about the light, the light that came, the light that came to give light to Everyone who is coming to the world. Who is that light? Is Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ is the light. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Say fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I am enjoying the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus said in the book of John chapter 9, Verse number five, while I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Jesus said that when he is in the world, he is what? He is the light of the world. Jesus Christ is Amen. the light. Amen. He is the light of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He's the one who is the light. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, that's what the Bible said. That the true light gives light to everyone who was coming into the world. Jesus Christ is the one who is the light. 
the light of the world. Amen. Verse number 10 of John chapter 1, the Bible said that he was in the world. And through the, the world, through the world was made, though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. Amen. 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 The Bible says, hey, he was in the world. Who? Jesus Christ. As we have read yesterday, uh, a few days ago, Jesus Christ, who is God? Who was God and who is God who have come into the world? Amen. Amen. The Bible says that. Amen. Hey, though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. Amen. This is God. Remember, Jesus Christ is God who have come to the world, the world that he have created. But the Bible said that the world did not recognize him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mm. Imagine God. God have come, the creator have come, have come. Have come to the world, but the Bible say that because he came as a person. He came as a man. They did not recognize that it is God who have visited him, who have visited them. Because they saw that it is as if God looks like them. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. It is not that God did not come. God came. But the problem. They could not recognize him because he looked like them. He looked like a human being. Even though he was not a human being. Amen. Even though he was God in a human form. But they could not recognize him. Amen. If anyone have to recognize Jesus, that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, Jesus Christ is God, Jesus Christ is the Son of God, it was not God going to be because of Luke. He looked like anybody. Amen. He looked, he had two hands, he had two eyes, he had two ears. And you could say even that in, in, in his time, there were people who resembled him, who looked like him. Amen. Then, when Jesus said that, I am the way, the truth, and the life, they said that, no, this one is trying to make himself God. This one is trying to equal, equalize himself with God because to them they were seeing a human being. Amen. And they were offended. And those were, that became the reason why they want to crucify him. Why do they want to crucify him? Because he's saying that he's God. And they think he's blaspheming God. But was he not God? He was God. Amen. It's just that to be able to, to see that he was God. They were not supposed to look on the physical eyes. They were not supposed to look with the physical eyes. They were supposed to look with the spiritual eyes. It can Amen. only take a revelation to understand and to, to perceive that Jesus Christ is God. Amen. Otherwise, otherwise, an ordinary person could not, could not see that Jesus Christ is God. And that person could see that Jesus Christ looked like everybody. Why? People could not understand. Why do they say that this one is the Savior? Because he did not look like a Savior. He looked like a human being. But he was not a human being. Amen. He was God in a man. Amen. In a man from hallelujah. Amen. Coming to his own. Coming to die for his own. Amen. He had to become like a human being in order to die for human being. 
in order to redeem us Amen. from the curse of the law so that we may be saved. Amen. But because he was coming to die for human beings, he looked like a human being. Hallelujah. Amen. They could not, will not, did not recognize. They look at Jesus. They thought he looks like a man. And verse number 11 says that he came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. He came to that which was his own. He was not coming to the people that somebody had created. He was not coming to the place where somebody... He came to his own. His own Amen. creation. Amen. But the Bible said that his own did not receive him because they were in different dimensions. Jesus Christ was in a physical form, but spiritually he was God, but they were physical. Then only thing they could see and perceive that this one is a man, he looked like us. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Can you say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, fire, yeah, I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. You know, the Bible talks about one day they could say to themselves, you know, he is trying to make himself God because they knew his mother. They knew, they thought they knew his father. They thought they have married even the sisters. Why does he say that he's the son of God? Because to them, they thought he was like them, but he was not. He was God and he is God. Amen. In verse number 12, of John chapter 1, the Bible said that yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave them the right to become the children of God. Amen. Yet to all Amen. who did receive him as the Lord, to all who believed in his name, he gave them the right to become the children of God. And I want you to get Amen. this. In order to receive him, it, it required a revelation to, to know and to understand that he is not an ordinary person. He is the Lord. He is the Messiah. He Amen. is God who have come to save his own. Amen. That's why the Bible says, to those who had that revelation and received him as Lord. Those who did not receive him as man, he gave them and believed his name. He gave them the right to become the children of God. Amen. You receive him as God. You get the benefits of God. Amen. You receive him Amen. as man, you lose the spiritual blessing he have. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 10, can you pass through the book of Matthew chapter 10? Then the Bible says that in verse number 40, the Bible says, Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me. And anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who has sent me. And the Bible says that whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Amen. And whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. The Bible says, whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive 
Remember, a prophet is a spiritual person. A prophet is not a physical person. A prophet is a spiritual person who is staying in a, in a physical person. But you choose. Do you want to ex- accept a prophet, a person who is a prophet as an ordinary person? You will receive what an ordinary person can do and have. But if you receive a prophet as a prophet, you will receive what? A prophet's reward. In a similar way, if you receive Jesus as Jesus, the Son of God, you receive what you have as the Son of God. But if you receive him as a son of Mary, as an ordinary person, you will miss what he have. That's what the Bible says. Yet to all those who received him, receive him as a savior, receive him as the son of God, receive him as the Lord. And, and, and those who receive him like that, they are the one who will believe in his name. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. And the Bible Amen. says that he gave them the right to become the child of God. Because Amen. if you don't receive him, you won't even dare to use his name. You won't even dare to take his name. Amen. Because who is looking for somebody's name who is just a person, an ordinary person? Nobody. Amen. But it's when you have got a revelation that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ is God. Then you take his name. And you make him the Lord of your life. You make him the Savior of your life. And you get him, the benefit out of him, of a Savior out of him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And part of that benefit... Of, um, of a savior out of Jesus that is that you become the child of God. Amen. He gives you Amen. the God kind of life. Amen. You receive the God kind of life. Amen. And the Bible say that you become the child of God, children of God, children not born of natural descendant or of her human decision. Or a heart spends will, but born of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Children not born of natural descendant. Amen. When you are saying that you are born again, you are not being born again so that you can become the son of Mary. Or the son of Joseph, but to Amen. become the son of God. Amen. To become what? You become what? The son of God. Children not born of natural descendants. You have been grafted not on this lineage. Amen. Not of, of into his natural lineage, but to his spiritual lineage, where you become what? The son of God. Amen. Amen. That's what the Bible says that he's the, he's the firstborn of many brothers. Amen. Amen. Of the spiritual kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I am enjoying the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that yet. To all those who did, who did, okay, verse number 13. Children not born of natural descendant, of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. Remember, the Bible talks about 
There is a first Adam and the second Adam. When we talk about the first Adam, is the first Adam, the first human being, according to the word of God, that God have created. Amen. And the Bible says that then God was creating Adam in order to fill the whole world. That's why Adam, you hear about Adam in the book of Genesis, where God is creating things. You know, in creation, when God was creating things, he was creating few things that will multiply and fill the whole world. Amen. So the first Adam, he was Adam, a seed, and the first person in whom the whole world was going to be filled. Then Amen. God did not dare to fill, to, to create thousands of people, Amen. but created first one in whom the whole world will be filled. Amen. Then, you know, because of the fall of man, because of the fall of Adam, Adam could not fulfill what he had created for because he fell. And then there was a need to restore man. And the process of restoration, it is when God sent Jesus Christ to come into this world. And he came as a second Adam. Amen. As a second Adam, he was a firstborn of the new creation. Amen. He was a firstborn. He was the one in whom the whole, you know, he was going to lead the new generation, the new creation. Out of him also, as a second Adam, the new breed of the children of God were going to come out. Amen. That's what it is. He's the firstborn of the many brothers. Amen. Then anyone, you know, like the first Adam, anyone to be born like Adam must be born through a woman. Then then that person will be like a first Adam, just like that. But now, to be like a second Adam, you don't, you don't need a, You know, Jesus Christ was a spiritual person. Amen. He was more spiritual than physical. Amen. He was more spiritual than physical. When we say that, then that's why those who look at him on the physical, they get lost. But those who accept him spiritual, they get the life, the, the God kind of life, Amen. the spiritual kind of life. Amen. That's why you're hearing that. Yet to all those who did receive him, those who believed in his name, he gave them the right to become the children of God. Amen. If you read very well in the book of John chapter 4, verse number 4, you hear when we talk about God, what are you talking about? Amen. Where the Bible says that God is a spirit. And as a spirit, Amen. his worshippers must worship him in spirit and in truth. He's not a physical God. He's a spiritual God. Amen. Then if the Bible Amen. says that, yet to all those who did receive him uh, and believe in his name, he gave them the right to become the children of God. The Bible is talking about spiritual people, spiritual children. Amen. Amen. And when they say that you are born again, we're not talking about you are born again physically, no. Amen. You are born again spiritual. That's, you know, that's what becomes a confusion. Amen. When people hear that somebody is born again, they think, they want, what do you talk about? Actually, it was the same thing with Nicodemus, who was a Jewish leader and who came to Jesus. And said that, okay, how can I be born again? How can I be born again? Must I enter again my mother's womb so I can say, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about that kind of born again. You are being born again in spirit. Amen. You are not being born again in the physical. You are being born again in the spirit because this is a spiritual kingdom. Amen. This is not a physical kingdom. Amen. That's why Jesus said that, okay, let us read verse number 3 of John chapter, John chapter 3. 
um, verse number 4 of John chapter 3, the Bible said that, How can someone be born again when they are old? Nicodemus asked. Surely they cannot enter the second time into their mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the spirit. Amen. The flesh gives birth to flesh. Amen. The spirit gets blessed to the spirit. Amen. Jesus said, the flesh. Adam, the first Adam is flesh. He gives birth to flesh. Amen. Jesus Christ is the second Adam. He's a spirit. Amen. He's a life-giving spirit. Amen. And so the spirit. Spirit yeah. give life to the spirit. Amen. When we hear that somebody's born again, it is them is their inner person. They have received the God kind of life. They are born again. Amen. For the mind to be born again, yeah. that mind needs to be fed with the word of God. Amen. Amen. That's also what the, how that's how the mind get born again. Will never be born again. Amen. The flesh is not saved. Amen. The flesh will only yeah. be saved on resurrection morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes. Then when you hear that somebody is born again, is only born again what? In the spirit. Amen. And the Bible said that. Hey, that's why it said that. Children born not of a natural descendant. Not of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. Amen. You are born of God Amen. as you accept Jesus Christ. Amen. And you become the child of God. Amen. Amen. Then you are. Uh, how glorious it is when you hear that you are born again. Amen. Because you are Amen. born again. You know, imagine. You were the child of your mother. You were the child of your father. As a human being struggling. Because they are limited. They are, they are human beings. They are, they are limited. But when you hear that you are born again. You are the child of God. That moment. Papa God is your father. Amen. You are the child of the living God. Amen. And that's how you must see yourself. You are no longer ordinary. You are no longer of this world. Amen. The moment you are born again, you have been grafted in into the holy kingdom, the mighty kingdom that Papa God is your father. Amen. Amen. You know, when Amen. others could talk about so and so, it's like, no, no, no. Papa God is our father. Amen. That's Amen. what Jesus Christ was trying to teach you. Amen. That's what Jesus Christ was teaching to try to teach us. That's what he said, when you pray. How must you pray? When you pray, you must say, Our Father who art in heaven. Our Father who art in heaven. How did Jesus Christ pray? How did he talk about Papa? God. The Bible said that one day, 12 years old, they went for, for the for the census. If not the centers, when they go there, there was a festival in the temple. They forgot him. And he was left there talking to the priests. Talking about the deep things of God. Then when they arrive at home, they realize, oh, where is Jesus? He's a young boy. Where is Jesus? Jesus was left in the temple. Talking to the priests. Teaching the priests. Asking hard questions, and they were wondering what kind of the young boy is this? Amen. Whose Amen. child is this? They don't know that this is the child of God. The Bible says that the parents went back. When they look for him everywhere, they could not find him. So let's go and look for him in the temple. When they arrive in the temple, so Jesus, why are you left behind? And he told his mother. He told his mother, I was busy. With my father's business. And his father's Amen. business. He's not talking about Joseph. He's talking about his father where? In heaven. Amen. Heaven. He's talking about his father's heaven. Then that's why. 
when you are born again you must be grafted and you must you must allow yourself to blend in the spiritual I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. You must Amen. allow yourself to what? To blend in the spiritual. To blend in the spiritual family. Amen. Amen. Disallow these things. You know, like some people, you know, even though they are born again, they are, they are, they are born again. They are spiritual people. But they still want to hold on. They still want to hold on unto the physical. And they limit themselves when they do so. Amen. As a child of God, you must know Papa God is your father. Amen. So that Amen. you can claim spiritual blessings. Amen. The more you say you, you belong to this earthly family, you are... <laughs> the more you belong to that, you can't claim from the spiritual kingdom. You disadvantage yourself. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. You disadvantage yourself. And some people wonder why things are not going well. Uh-uh. You, are, you just have dis- disadvantaged yourself. Amen. The Bible Amen. said that one day, Jesus Christ was teaching. As he was teaching the word of God, the Bible said that, they say, hey, Jesus, your mother and your brother, they are calling you outside. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Your mother and your brother, they are calling you outside. Jesus said, no, no, no. My brother and my mother are those who are here, who are listening to the word of God. This is what he said. Matthew chapter 12 from verse number 46. While Jesus was still talking to the crowd, his mother and brother stood outside, wanting to speak to him. Someone told him, your mother and brothers are standing outside, wanting to speak to you. He replied to him, who is my mother and uh, my brothers? Pointing to his disciples, he said, here are my mother and brothers. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Verse number 54. Whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother and my sister and my mother. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Be heavenly minded. Hallelujah. Amen. Be spiritual minded. Be spiritual minded. Amen. You are born again. You are a child of God. God Almighty is your father. And he gives you the passport to claim that you are heavenly citizen. Amen. Amen. Yes, that's what he gives you. So that you may you may even say when they say, Where do you come from? When somebody say, I'm coming from America, I'm coming from England, I'm coming from here, I'm coming from the... So no, I'm coming from heaven. I'm a heavenly citizen. Amen. Amen. Then this world belongs to my father. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. Then therefore you claim the best of the land. Amen. Because what? The world belongs to our Father who art in heaven. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. But with the moment you say that, oh, you are coming from Svanivani clan. You are, uh, uh, you are, de- you are actually hey, de- dethroning yourself that you are a prince. You are a king. From this kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you say, I'm the child of God? I am the child of God. I'm the child of God. 
I'm the child of God. I'm the child of God. I'm the child of God. I come from above. I come from above. I come from above. In the name of Jesus. In the name, In the name of, Jesus. of Jesus. I refuse to be poor. I refuse to be poor. I refuse to be poor. I refuse to be broke. I refuse to be broke. I refuse to be broke. I refuse to be poor. I refuse to be poor. I refuse to be sick. I refuse to be sick. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Wherever you are, begin to pray. Talk to your father. Talk to your father. Talk to your father. Oh, Rabbi Yatolaba. Araba Yatolobo. Araba ye derobo Not of God in my life, in my body, in my career, in our country, in every sector of my life. Catch fire now! Catch fire now! I command them. Come on! Ah! Ah! Say I command everything to turn around for my good. Everything to turn around for my good. Everything. Everything. Turn around for my good. Let there be miracle job. Miracle job. Then let there be progress. 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 In every sector of my love. Anything which is not of God. Anything which is not of God. In my life. In my, in, my life, body, in my body, in, my in body, every sector of my life, in every 
Catch fire now. Catch fire now. I command them. Come on. Lord Jesus Christ, you are my Lord, you are my, you are my Savior, wash me with your blood, forgive me my sins, bless me today, protect me from today, protect me from today, I am, I am born again. I am, I am, I am saved. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't forget the day on the 29th. We are starting our 10 days prayer and fasting. Can I have Sia here on the VIP section? I want to pray for the tithe that I saw. Just stand up, Sia, wherever you are, stretch your hands towards Sia for the tithe. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of Sia, their finances, their everything into the blood of Jesus, into the fire of the Holy Spirit. As the Holy Ghost, bah! every curse is be broken. And as a father, I pray for blessings, I pray for favor, I pray for prosperity, for your glory, Lord. I claim every blessing of tithe for your glory, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Just turn around three times, the power of God is falling on you there. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Say you are blessed. You are blessed. In the, In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah.